Hey everybody, this is Mark with Iable Tech One Toys, and in this video, I wanted to show you how you can install um, the DSMC Fan 2.0 upgrade kit on your first generation DSMC RED camera. These fans go for both the front of the camera as well as the top, which is going to improve airflow and cooling, and hopefully, your camera won't overheat as easily. These are for those of you who are on the first generation DSMC camera, not the second generation, which kind of has these new fans built in on the top. The kit for the two fans right here is about $500, and Red is no longer selling them, but you can get them through B&H, but I had to wait about two months to get mine. So they're finally here, um, and I'm going to show you how to install them on your camera. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that you do remove the lens mount from your camera. It's going to vary slightly based on what lens mount you're using. I was using a Canon one, but the locking ring actually does cover the fan a little bit. So you're not going to be able to pull off that front casing like you would on other lens mounts. So Red recommends removing it. So do I. So I gone ahead and I removed my lens mount. You're also going to want to remove your vent. This is um, just the, the standard vent on top of the camera. But for me, I actually had a top plate. So I went ahead and I removed the top plate as well because the back fan is going to connect right here. Let's actually find out what we get inside of these mystery black boxes. It cost me $500. And like I said, these took me two months from when I ordered them to when I got them because they were a special order from B&H but they are the only people that were able to buy these because Red no longer sells the fans. So let's see, in the box right here, we've got our fan and some tools. That's nice because you do need to use a little, this is what they call it in tech terms, a spudger, is what you use to unplug the cable from the fans. Um, I used to fix Max, so I have a bunch of them but it's nice they do include these and you also get your tool to unscrew these i do have my sidewinder and one is for the top one is for the front and both of these do work on here and then for our fan we've got our mount for the front as well as the fan and it has the scarlet branding on the front this will vary based on which camera you have. They have three of them, Scarlet, Dragon, and Epic. And we also do get some screws. Okay, now let's take a look at the top fan. This one's the coolest by far. It got a nice red look to it. So inside we have a bunch more accessories. We've got a tool, another tool. There is a hood, so this is the the vent fan that I was talking about that I did not have. I don't believe they're different. I could be wrong, but I don't think they're different. So the one you were currently using, I think is the same as this. So now I got two of them. That's interesting. And I'm not even using them. And then we've got our fans with uh, another tool and some screws. Okay, so let's go ahead and start off i am going to do the top fan because that is easiest so here is the fan i want to show you this real quick before we do install it it actually looks pretty awesome and on the bottom we have our connective pin and you can see the fans are right there and this will drop in just right there so let's go ahead and remove our back piece this piece right here this black one is what we are going to remove so we're just going to go ahead and unscrew these two screws right here and then there's that last screw so now we can remove our piece and we can install the fan you just drop it right in perfect fit now you probably could use the same screws but they gave me new ones they do look a little different, so I will use them. 
but they do have the same screw holes or the same threading as the previous ones so I can use this tool the sidewinder I don't have to use the one they included and then we'll go ahead and put the other one in on this side we'll make sure that's tight and that is probably all we need to do now you can either put your hood back on or I can put my top plate on so now let's go ahead and move on to the front so the way these fans work here is that there's actually two pieces. We have our fan itself, which is this unit that's going to be replaced. And then we have our front plate and they just go into them just like that. So that's how it works. And of course, Rod's construction is awesome. This is not plastic. That is metal. So the idea is the same for these fans for this one right here. You're just going to remove these two screws pull off the front plate and then we will pull out our fan. So now that we've got that removed, we can just pull up and out. There are two little teeth on this one. So you'll make sure you install the new one that way. You can see how thin this one is. And then now we have got our fan just sitting right there. And what our process is going to be is we have to pull this out just like that off to the side. And we will have to use the included spudger to unplug that cable. So now all we had to do was just plug it right in. And I just squeezed the fan in there. And we kind of have to fold these wires a little bit to get them to fit. We can cover our flap up. Then we can take our new front cover, put that down. You have to put the teeth in first. And then we can squeeze that on over just like that and just like that we've now got our new front on and I will just go ahead and put the new screws that they included into the camera there we go that's all put together so now we can put the camera back together lens mount um, top plate and everything turn it on and hopefully they all work so now we got the camera all powered on. You probably cannot hear the fans because they're actually kind of quiet. Um, I typically run my camera in adaptive preview quiet mode at 55 degrees. So that's what I always do with my old fan. And now I'll be able to see what temperatures I can run it out in again. And um, currently my sensor is at 27 degrees Celsius. So it's got a little ways uh, to go before the fans actually really kick in. Right now they're just kind of humming away. I'm just kind of running in the background, not doing much. So um, I'm not going to be able to give you a great comparison right now, but if you want to know more about these fans, definitely let me know in the comment section below. I'll try my best to make another video. Um, but that's pretty much it. I'm really looking forward to playing with these fans and the camera, seeing how they perform compared to the old single fan. Uh, but that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. As always, if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. If you like this video leave a like and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any more videos about fans awesome i know thank you for watching this is mark and i'll see you in the next one